Hi, this is Jude Leonard, assistant professor from PG and Research Department of Physics, St. Joseph's College of Arts and Science, Kadalu. Today we are going to discuss about uh, the basic parameters which defines or explains Young's more or less and rigidity model. Uh, these are the basic uh, or fundamental parameters which we have to understand to understand Young's more or less and rigidity more or less. These are stress, strain, brittle and elastic the properties of a particular material and without knowing this it is difficult for us to understand the properties uh, like Young's modulus and rigidity modulus of a particular material and to start off with the stress as we all know the colloquial term what do you mean by stress stress is a force applied per cross-sectional area of a material when we take a material and apply the force and the force experienced by that material per unit and uh, throughout the cross-sectional area and is defined as stress and the next one is strain strain is the difference in uh, length extension in length resulting from stress when we give certain amount of force to a particular material and if there is a uh, change in uh, length that is original length and extended length and it is called as uh, strain Next one is brittleness. Uh, we know that uh, a material that breaks with a plastic deformation. So plastic de deformation means uh, after withdrawing the amount of force which we are given to a particular material, it doesn't regain its original shape. Uh, that is called as uh, plastic deformation. And when it happens and a material breaks without this uh, particular property, that is plastic deformation, we can term it as brittleness. And finally, we all know that elastic and non-elastic, a material that retains to its original shape after deformation. That is, when you give the amount of force, stress is given to a particular material. When we withdraw it, if it regains its original shape, for example, an eraser, when we withdraw the amount of force given at a particular um, uh, place at a, for, a, at a, for a material, when we withdraw it, it becomes uh, to regain, if it regains its original shape, uh, it gains uh, the exact volume of it. It is called as elastic. When it doesn't happen, it means it is a plastic deformation. Uh, it doesn't have that original shape again. When even after the withdrawal of uh, uh, force from it, so the uh, non-elastic property. So it is also an important parameter in defining the Young's modulus and the rigidity modulus. The next one is uh, stiffness. Uh, we all know that what do you mean by stiffness? It doesn't easily change its shape when the force is applied. And important thing is for a, it it happens for a certain limit. After that, it becomes changes according to the characteristics of the material. So how much it withstand when the force is applied to it, and the tendency it doesn't change its shape or volume, and it is called as stiffness and we as we discussed elastic returns to original shape when the force is removed and non elastic it doesn't regain its original shape and next property is ductile uh, it can be uh, easily pulled out into a uh, thinner shape it means if it if the material can be changed or altered uh, by applying force and make into a uh, dimension of uh, in a thinner uh, space that is called as ductility or ductile property and next one is malleable and it can be deformed un under compression when you give force the unity per unity area so it becomes uh, malleable it means under compression it, it is completely deformed into a different shape and strong we all know that a uh, large force to break it we can't easily break by giving too much of force brittleness it easily cracks since a glass it needs a large force to deform it you can't easily uh, deform the uh, glass uh, example a uh, brittle example for brittleness and last one is uh, kevlar that is a uh, smooth low friction surface uh, polytetrine uh, fluorescent uh, ethylene that is a property of uh, kevlar and uh, it does not uh, detroit with repeating loading and unloading it doesn't change its property while it is given too much of load and when you withdraw it it doesn't have any change in that property and this graph uh, shows the relation between the stress and the strain 
the first graph is as uh, we know that stress is directly proportional to strain that is called as Hooke's law when we increase strain in x axis so the stress keeps goes on increasing so taking slope to a particular point we can find the Young's modulus keep on going it uh, rises it means it directly proportional it rises uh, to a particular level and at a particular strain and a particular point the stresses just breaks out that is it means that the material the uh, material of that particular uh, element it uh, it changes uh, the strength it deforms the body gets deforms and that particular point is called as yield strength even after if you give too much of strain if you increase strain the stress also goes on increasing at a particular level we can say that it slowly increases when we increase strain uh, it slowly this value of the stress slowly increases and it gains the maximum power value and that is the ultimate strength of that particular material and the distance between the point where it starts to break that is the point yield strength and the ultimate strength where it is uh, denoted as ultimate strain the distance between these two is strain hardening is termed as strain hardening after that ultimate strength that is the maximum point value of the stress for a particular strain if he keeps on increasing the value of strain to a particular level after that after ultimate strength it is called as necking uh, the value of the stress starts decreasing from the point of ultimate strength it keeps on decreasing decreasing and at a particular value of strain if we keep on increasing the value of strain the material becomes uh, deformed and it is, it is fractured and the second diagram uh, shows the relation between the stress and the strain brittleness and ductility and the curve what happens to brittleness it uh, suddenly uh, deforms and ductile it becomes uh, thinner in shape so this graph uh, defines the relation between the stress strain brittle and ductility and the formula for stress as we know that force per cross-sectional area applied force per cross-sectional area and it is denoted as f by a new and the unit is newton per meter and strain we all know that wire is being stretched so there is a change in length which defines uh, force per unit that is extension per unit length extended length divided by original length and this is Young's modulus. Young's modulus we all know that from these basic parameters we can understand what is Young's modulus for the particular material and stretch through as proportional stress within the limit of proportionality the ratio is a constant which depends upon the material of the wire from that what material of the wire from that value of stress and strain we can find the Young's modulus of the particular material which defines the ratio between the stress and the st and this is a value example for uh, Young's modulus, um, Young's modulus can be denoted as E, and we all know that stress force per unit area that is F by A, and strain change in length divided by original length X by L in this denoted by when it is given a ratio FL by AX. Its unit is either it is denoted as Pascal or Newton per. And finally, the rigidity modulus uh, you can. Uh, understand from that uh, cube like structure when there is a shear stress by shear strain uh, one end is fixed and there is a slight deformation or defined at a particular end so we can define it as a uh, shear stress for a given amount of uh, shear strain and the ratio of this uh, shear stress and shear strain is called as rigidity modulus and it is denoted by G thank you